All right, this is maybe the craziest video, like, that I've posted in my whole 30 episodes on YouTube. But I'm sure if you're on TikTok or even, it's probably hit Instagram Reels now. I saw on YouTube, literally Andy Frisella was talking about it in his last CTI episode. Gail Lewis, the Walmart warrior, dude, a true hero. So, like, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. The videos are hysterical. Like, m like the edits that are being made, maybe the best thing to surface social media in the past, like, two years. But I think that... Hmm, like, I don't think you guys should be making fun of Gail Lewis. Like, because... First of all, everyone at Walmart probably loved her. Like, she was probably the nicest employee ever, super helpful. Like, I think there's a lot of, like, positive things that, like, this might be a crazy video. I'm not going to lie. This might be crazy. But I think there's a lot of, like, positive things that you could take away from Gail Lewis. Like, ten, 10 years in her job, that's consistency, bro. She probably got a couple raises during that time. Like, she was probably, and she's probably happy that most people who were working at, like, doctor's offices or, like, six-figure, like, I don't know, like, I think that, I mean, there are obviously certain things that, like, just the whole nature of the video, you know, it was kind of, like, asking to be made fun of, but I think it's kind of messed up, because she was clearly a good employee, she clearly liked what she did, and she was, I, I don't know, she did for a long time, and, you know, she talked about how many, like, relationships she built throughout the time that she worked there, like, she was probably, like, like all the memes, like, she's the GOAT. She probably was the GOAT. Like, she was probably a really good employee. So I think that, like, like I get it. I get it. People are making fun of it on social media and stuff. But I think that if a lot of people, like, applied... This sounds so ridiculous. If a lot of people applied the Gail Lewis mentality, they would probably be more successful. Like, this lady worked at Walmart, right? Like, a lot of people, like, want... A lot of Walmart workers are miserable, dude. Like, retail workers in general. So, like, if you're, like, a teenager, you're, like, maybe you work at, like, McDonald's. Bro. Like, that would suck. No offense. No no hate to anyone who works at McDonald's. It's just not. I could never. All right, that sounds kind of snobby. You know, people got to pay the bills. Sorry, I take back what I said. That was mean. Um, Let's say you work at McDonald's, right? If you're, like, you got to go in there with that Gail Lewis attitude. I can't believe, I literally can't believe I'm recording and going to post this video. But, like, I think that, like, the way the the social media took that video is, like, kind of shitty, dude. Because she clearly cared about what she was doing. She liked it. She met a lot of people. She had a lot of friendships. Went through, she went through a freaking pandemic, man. And, like, I don't know. I think that you should maybe try to be a little bit, a little bit like that. Like, if you work a job, you would probably be more, see... Like, the reason I was saying the thing about McDonald's is because, like, you know, like, I'm, it's not just McDonald's. Like, I'm not going to, I don't want to work for anyone. Like, I'm, you know, very, uh, I, I run my own business. I do my own stuff. So, like, that's just completely out of the picture for me. Um, but, like, if you are going to work for someone, dude, you should be like Gail Lewis. Like, <laughs> I'm dead serious, bro. Like, I'm so serious. Like, I feel like. You know, she was clearly very dedicated, and I think there's a lot of, like, positive things you can take away from from that. Like, I think if you can if you can just show up with that, that mentality, and then, you know, she was consistent with the job, dude. Like, and for maybe people who, like, don't have a ton of skills or a ton of education, and you're gonna work at Walmart, be like the motherfucking Walmart goat, bro. So, I think that the internet is taking it the wrong way. And, like, I, I understand why people are making fun of it, like, like I said, but I don't, I don't think it's cool, to be honest, like, I'm, I'm Team Gail Lewis, I think you guys need to, to stop the Gail Lewis slander, because she was clearly a very good employee, and she clearly really cared about what she did, and she was clearly, so, like, why are you pooping on someone who's, like, upset that they have to switch jobs, um, or not upset, it's a happy sad, according to Gail Lewis, but, like, why are you pooping on her when she was a good employee, she was a consistent employee, she loved what she, I guarantee you, everyone at that Walmart loved her, her bosses, her co work like, it's like, I just feel like that's like, you know, I think that the whole internet's making memes out of it, it's kind of like, it's a little bit messed up, so, whatever, I thought I would just come on here and talk about, you know, this is 
crazy topic, crazy topic for sure. But I think that there's a lot of like positive things you can take away from from the Gail Lewis video, to be honest. And I think that, you know, maybe be a little bit more like Gail Lewis. So that's it for today's video, I guess. I'll catch you guys in the next one.